Good morning. My name is Gia. If you're watching this webinar, it means that either your child's school or district has them using Typing Agent while they're at school or at home. The goal of this broadcast is to help you help your child be successful with Typing Agent while they're at home. The first thing you need to do is make sure that your child is logging in at the correct space. You at the top here should be able to see your child's school's name or district's name. If neither is there, this means that you're logging into the wrong place and you're going to get an error message. What we suggest you do is to write to the child's teacher or school administrator saying, hey, I can't get into the program. Can you help me? What to do is also copy support, that's S-U-P-P-O-R-T, at typing agent, T-Y-P-I-N-G-I-N-G-E-N-T dot com. And we will, so that we're aware of the conversation and we will be able to help you. So remember to write the teacher or the school's administrator and put support at typingagent.com in that email. And we may be able to help you log into Typing Agent properly. But what, so once you have that information, the child puts his username and password into the correct spot and then log in. You will see, many of you may not see a screen that looks like this. You may see other curriculums here for your kids. For example, you may see as few as these, or if I were to enter into this environment, you can see other curriculums there. So it's whatever the district or teacher has made available for your student or for your child, you will see that on the student's interface. With the K-2 environment, what um, this is made specifically for the children in kindergarten, grade one, grade two, or if you have a very special needs child, they can be working in this environment. What we suggest that you do is on the K-2 environment, sorry, and I'm doing exactly what I told you not to do, that is, do not log into typingagent.com because you will get an error message. So they log in with their username and password. They log into the K2 curriculum and they'll be asked to do, if they've never, ever, ever entered um, typing agent curriculum, they'll, if they're in grades kindergarten, one or two, they'll be asked to do a diagnostic test. This diagnostic test is just meant to show the child's progress over time. Please do not call it a test for your little ones because we do not want to stress them out. We encourage that you use this activity as like an I spy activity. Have your child look for, I think the first word on the test or that diagnostic um, resource is the word the. So have your child look for the letter T, hunt, 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 and it's the only time your child is permitted to use hunt and peck in typing agent. They use one finger, find the letter T, then wait for a while. Then have them look for the letter H. Once they successfully find it, then have them press the letter H once. For all students, the diagnostic test is two minutes only, and our focus is accuracy more than speed. So for the K2 ones, if they get a few letters, even if it's only two, correct, they will pass that test and are able to move on to the next activity. For the K2 students, we ask them to just go, they'll, the first, the zero mountain, or this uh, zero X flag is um, teaches the mouse skills. The key thing for us after they've done that is for them to pay attention to flag one. We want you to work with them on watching flag one. For the um, older students, we want you to look at with them, um, they're going to uh, have them look at world one exercise one and do this lesson here activity one again this is 
how to use typing agent well. We're looking at ergonomics. How do you sit when you're at the computer? How do you place your fingers? Please go through that activity to remind your, your child what they should be doing when they're in typing agent. Now, with that, when they're in here, I'm going to use this phone home tag to go back to this screen. Why I'm insisting that you watch that ergonomics video with your child, no matter what age, is so that when you see that your child is not using the correct technique, you can go ahead and correct or uh, encourage them to please use it. Are you sitting properly? Are you using more than one finger when you type? With the um, three plus uh, students, if they've never done it, not only will they do uh, if, uh, the diagnostic test, not only will they do that test, but we're also asking them to do a placement test. The placement test is the first thing they'll do. And based on how well they've done in the program, they'll be placed on paths A through D. So it doesn't matter, we're going to serve up a, an appropriate curriculum for your child to do when they're in typing agent. So just have them do the best they can um, in the placement test and the diagnostic test if your child is in grades three and above. We will then know what curriculum to serve your child. Typing agent encourages while your child is at home that they practice 10 minutes five times a week. Now that five times can be any day, but 10 minutes only. Now I know many of them love playing the games or love just sitting around and saying they want to type. We encourage that they, their lessons be done 10 minutes for five times during the week. And while they're home, this is the perfect time to get that requirement done. Notice our standard is if you, as each child does, let's say I click on this particular exercise, you will see stars on top of each lesson. We want your child to get a minimum of two stars per lesson and then have them move on. If they get one star, one star can be okay. And some districts have it that when they get only one star, they can move on. That's fine. But really, we encourage two stars and even better three stars and then th then they can move on so have them five minutes a day sorry 10 minutes a day five days a week trying to gain two stars and then they can move on then notice with this particular group they have the um they have games here you can actually monitor this we encourage that games are done after children have completed world four. That is, they've done these, uh, they've finished up to here, this sentences and punctuation. We want them to be here before they go into this games council. Why we suggest doing that is once they're in any of these games, they're exposed to all the letters on the keyboard. However, if they're only say in world two, they are only at the top row. They may not have learned the, the letter C and V. So when they're in the games, they'll be practicing C and V. So um, if you look at Typing Agent, and as you go through it, we have gamified learning. We make the program look like a game and encourage the kids to play in that environment because the games we serve up will be based on only the letters that, ch that your child has learned up to that particular point. But your your teachers may have made it open that game uh, council open to your children because the we um, they want the children to have fun while they're at home. Parents, I know you don't like your kids to struggle. However, um, learning how to type is a body kinesthetic skill. That is, it takes practice and diligent correct practice to do it well. For example, you never see with the, like take for instance, you were a basketball NBA star. Notice they always go down to the dribble. They all know how to dribble. They all practice dribbling no matter how good you are. 
The same thing with your kids. They have to practice proper keyboarding skills if they are going to get good. So please do not do the exercises for your children have them do them themselves and just encourage them come on you can do it you be their best cheerleader and then they will be able to get practice and not get discouraged as they're learning if you have a child who's already completed everything you may want to go and check this progress bar then you can see where your child is in comparison to children in their class but the key thing here that I would want you to do is click on the keyboarding foundations, click on all days, and then scroll down and look to see if there's anything in here where you see that your child has not gained two stars. You can then have them click on the lesson where they've not um, um, gained two stars, and then they can actually go back to that lesson and redo it. So this here, if you take these little things, these little tips, this will help your child use Typing Agent well. Remember, you can always write to us or write to the teacher should you have any questions on how your child is doing in Typing Agent. After they've done their practice for the week they, or for the day, they can click on the exit button and that logs them out of typing agent. If they were on, say, um, on the keyboarding foundations uh, uh, K2 environment, once they've finished um, Mountain 1, you'll see that they, they have Mountains 2 and 3 that they can do. So you can have them the same way we did with um, the K3s. After they've finished Mountain 1, they can then go to their game console and they can play those games because that means they're now ready to handle these games that are here. If not, everything they're exposed to while they're in this, uh, their Keyboarding Foundations curriculum is gamified it is there to make them have fun so thank you very much for watching i hope that this was informative again write your class teacher or write to support at typingagent.com should you have questions or concerns remember though if you write to support at typingagent.com you do have to copy the child's teacher in that email so that we're making sure that your teacher is aware of what you're asking and if modifications need to be done in your child's curriculum thank you so much and you have a great day bye bye